Hello everybody. We're going to use a simple combination of CSS and JavaScript to make the control panel window toggle animation happen. But before we do that, let's make sure our simple button is semantic and validates as proper HTML. In order to do that, we'll simply trade the button element for a div element. And the CSS will still be applied to anything with an ID of CP button. So we don't have to change any of that. But I will add some CSS properties to make the div based button look the way I want now. There. Now with these properties applied to our button, we'll get this output or this rendering. Now you see if you go to the validation service online, the HTML validation service online, you'll see that this code is now semantic and it validates 100%. You can't put block level display elements inside of an inline element. And that was a simple mistake on my part in the previous video. So this is the fix for it. You just change the button to a div and make it look any way you want. Now what we're going to do is copy this rule or the start of this rule and go directly under the previous rule. We'll open and close our curly braces there. And we're just going to put colon hover. Now we can put the changes that we want to happen to the button on hover right here. So for the button container itself, I just want the border to become a nice bright blue. So let's take a look at what that renders. Mouse goes over the button and the border turns a nice bright blue. Now you can put another rule if you want to affect all of the div, the child div elements within the container when the container is hovered on. So I'm going to put this into place. You can see the syntax is referring to the hover of the CP button element again. But after that you just put space and div and what that will do is put CSS property changes for all the child div elements within the CP button container when it's hovered on. Okay, so that gives you this. Now everything turns blue. Not only the border container, but all of the child elements within it get a new background color of blue. See, so if you want to do something like that, it's cool. And we can also add animated effects, which is very simple. Let's say if you want all those div bars to animate from black to blue, you can just put transition property into place. And we want to transition the background CSS property. So we'll put that here first. And we want the animation to occur, to occur over 0 0.5 seconds maybe. So we'll put 0 0.5s. I want it to be a linear animation and then the delay which is zero seconds because I want it to happen immediately. So let's see what that looks like. See, they smoothly animate from black to blue now. Now what you might want to do is put that on a faster speed like three. And now let's also copy that transition line and let's put it up into the CP button. And we want to uh, transition the border on this one. So we'll put border is the property to be transitioned on the actual button itself. Now this change that happens on hover to that button element, the border change is going to be an animated change now. Let's take a look. See, now your whole button hover effect is all juicy and animated. Okay, now I've put together two quick little examples for you guys to study the logic of and the code will be available under the video where it plays at developphp.com. So you can easily snatch all of the source code for both of these examples. So let me show you the first one. So here we have our little animated button set off to the right in a fixed position so that if I scroll the page it stays in place. And then when I click it, my little control panel animates into place directly under the button. And that also stays fixed in place while the user scrolls the page content. When you click the button again, it toggles away. So it comes in in an animated fashion, then toggles it away again. The same button clicked over and over again will toggle the display of it. And that's an effect that you see on a lot of popular websites where the menu will come into place. The little magic menu window will come into place directly under the button that's clicked to enable it. Now this next example slides the window in from one of the sides. Any side that you designate, you can designate the left side or the right side of the screen. So here again we also have a fixed in place button, but the window slides, it toggles in and out of view 
in a sliding fashion from the right. And you can also do it from the left. I think on YouTube actually has a left slide in uh, menu just like this. And really it doesn't matter where your little button is located. But many times you'll want to have it fixed in position on top somewhere while the user scrolls all the page content. Alright, that's pretty much it. Like I said, all the code will be at, on the page of Develop PHP, and I'll have a link to that page in the video's description area. Goodbye, and have a fine day.